How is it going everybody? You're watching Then About Tech and today I'm going to explain you what you should do if your iPhone gets wet. So if you dropped it in the pool or in a bathtub or in the toilet or it just got really wet from the rain, whatever, this is going to help you out if your iPhone gets wet at all, okay? One thing that is very, very important is that there are actually two different scenarios for this. So scenario, scenario number one, and you're gonna need to do one thing, and scenario number two, and you're gonna need to do a completely different thing. And those two scenarios are actually gonna depend on your iPhone model. This is very, very important, guys, so please pay attention. Okay, so scenario number one is when you're talking about early iPhone models. So iPhone 6S or earlier, so pretty old iPhones by now. And that's because they're not rated at all as water resistant. So Apple won't give us this rating, so we just assume they're not water resistant. On this same scenario, you're also talking about damaged iPhones. So if you have an iPhone that has a broken screen or something is broken, is just bent, or you see a hole, it's just broken, damaged, so water can't actually get in. Doesn't matter which iPhone we're talking about, but if it's damaged, physically damaged at all, we're also gonna put it in this, this first scenario. And also, uh, slightly old iPhone. So if you have an iPhone which is over two years old, so even if it is an iPhone 7 or an iPhone 10, which are rated as water resistant, but if they're older than two years, they're not water resistant anymore, just at least not as much as they used to be, just because the seals, uh, the rubber that made them resistant, they're just dry by now and they're not resistant anymore, okay? Or at least as much as they used to be. So this is scenario number one. So those are the iPhones that are actually uh, more fragile, more prone to get damaged by water. Uh, either because they're old or damaged or they're just early models, even if they are in perfect condition and even if they are new. Okay, so this is scenario number one. So if you have one of those one of those iPhones that fit in one in this scenario that I just talked about, you have to take action. There are a few things you need to do if your iPhone got wet. So uh, if you dropped it in the pool, in a bathtub, in a toilet, uh, if it got really wet from the rain or anything like that, you need to take action and this is what you need to do. This video is brought to you by Wondershare Mobile Trans, the best phone to phone transfer tool on the market and they're awesome, all 30% off Christmas deals. Don't waste your time, it expires on January the 7th so there are just a few days left. You can get Mobile Trans right now with a 30% off discount. You can choose to get the complete version with four tools included for just $34.97 or you can get those tools individually separated so you can get specific features, for example, just the WhatsApp transfer or just the phone transfer. Of course, all deals with 30% off. Don't waste any time. As I said, just a few days left. Go ahead and click on the first link in the description to take advantage of those awesome deals. Now, back to the video. So first, the first thing you're gonna do after you take it out from the water is actually dry it. Dry it as best as you can with a cloth, a cleaning cloth, a paper towel, even a normal towel, or prefer preferably a microfiber cloth, okay? So just dry it as best as you can. Number two, you're gonna need to turn it off, not the screen, actually turn off the phone. Because if there's water inside it, uh, and you leave it on and you keep playing with it, most likely you're gonna get a short circuit because you're gonna have water, electricity, and that's very, very bad. You can fry the circuits and everything like that. So just turn your iPhone off completely. Number three, the third step is actually to remove the SIM card tray. So open it up, remove the SIM card tray, remove the SIM card itself, uh, uh, dry both the tray and the SIM card as well. So dry everything and leave your iPhone without the SIM tray, okay? Uh, this is important if you're doing like that, just because you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna let air leading into the phone, you're gonna, you're gonna let your iPhone breathe air, so this is good for your iPhone. So leave it 
without the seam tray, okay? That's the best way you can dry it. And if you wanna be even more extreme, and this is not possible to ever to everyone because not everyone has that laying around, you can use some silica gel. So if you're gonna use silica gel, I would recommend you to put your iPhone in a bag, in a Ziploc bag, uh, and then just put a few packs of a silica, like three or four, and then close it and leave it there, okay? So if you're gonna use silica or not, you're gonna need to leave your iPhone like that for at least two days. I know it's a lot, I know it's complicated, but you're gonna need to leave it breathing for at least two days while it's turned off, okay? So don't plug it into the wall charger, don't turn it on, nothing. Turn it off and leave it completely off for those 48 hours, either um, with the silica or without it. It's up to you if you can, if you have this possibility, but leave it off just like that waiting okay again if you don't have silica just leave it on the top of a counter or something like that let let it breathe okay and then after those two days you can just uh, put your sim card back in connect everything back together turn it on and see if it's perfect if it's working if it's fine hopefully it will be and that's all you can do if for some reason you still have issues and problems in any kind of situation like that then you're gonna need to take it to the Apple store, uh, take it to the Apple genius and then like uh, talk to them and see what they actually can do for you. Two important things. Number one, don't use rice. I said silica, that's the only material you should use to actually uh, uh, dry your phone, silica. Don't use rice or anything. It's gonna be worse for you. Sometimes ice gets stuck, ice is full of dirt and things like that. It's gonna be bad for your phone. So don't use rice at all, okay, just don't use it. Uh, and another thing, Apple Care doesn't cover water damage. So your Apple warranty will not cover this. That's why we are doing this at home, trying to recover it at home, trying to dry it at home, because Apple will not help you with that, okay? So that being said, that resolves, that solves scenario number one. Now, let's talk about scenario number two. As you can imagine, scenario number two is when we're talking about newer iPhone models, so later iPhone models, so from the iPhone 7 all the way to the newest 12 Pro Max. Uh, please keep in mind that, as I mentioned before, if you have an iPhone 7 or 10, even if it's uh, a water-resistant rated, if it's old, like two years or more, then um, I wouldn't consider it a new iPhone when we're talking about water resistance, okay? So I'm talking about here iPhone 7 and up, if they are maximum two years old, so two years of age. So um, as a matter of fact, from the iPhone 7 all the way up, there is a water resistance, okay, rated. So I'm gonna put it on the screen, uh, how resistant they are. Keep in mind that no iPhone and no smartphone is actually waterproof, so they're resistant, not waterproof. And that's where the, the magic happens. So scenario number two, you have a newer iPhone, it's water rated, it's not broken or damaged or anything like that, it's just a new phone. So uh, do I actually, do you actually have to go through all of that, all of those steps, if your iPhone gets wet? And the answer is generally no. So if you have a newer, later model iPhone, you don't need to go through all of that if you're considering its resistance. So let's let's see, let's see think of an example. So let's say you have an iPhone 11, which can sustain up to 30 minutes under four meters of water. Um, and let's say you dropped it uh, on a toilet or on a pool, which is not very deep, or even a bathtub or something like that. I wouldn't worry so much because again, it can handle 30 minutes under four meters of water. So if you just dropped it and you picked it up, most likely you won't have any problems at all. And that's for and that serves for pretty much all those phones I was talking about, from the iPhone 7 all the way to the 12 Pro Max. I've done tests with the 7, the iPhone 10, the 11 Pro, so many, many phones on pools and things like that and nothing happened. So you shouldn't worry too much. So what I would recommend is, Take a look at your iPhone, the iPhone model you have. Take a look at, uh, at how resistant it is. So if it's like four meters, six meters, two meters, take a look at that. And if you have an accident, accident or if you had an accident, and if it wasn't over that resistance, I wouldn't worry too much. 
like if it was again one meter 30 centimeters something very quick or something and if you have a new and, and, and late model iPhone I wouldn't worry I would just pick it up dry it have a look if it's working and then keep on with my life but if you have any issues after that accident like let's say uh, you have no signal you have no Wi-Fi no Bluetooth the screen has some weird thing on it uh, maybe you have th that thing that, that that notification that you have the headphones on there are a few issues that are very common with water damage so if you see one of those issues one of those red flags okay then you should go ahead and do those steps that I talked about in scenario number one all those steps including the silica and everything and leave it breathing but only if you get a red flag if not if everything is working don't worry I keep using your iPhone as normal just dry it and it's fine if the speakers get a little bit muffed that's common as well that has happened to me quite a few times actually so if they get a few a little bit muffed or a little bit low in volume just wait a few hours it's just a little bit of water but uh, the water that's there it's not gonna get in your phone okay it's just right there near the speakers they can't really get in your phone they're just there and they will evaporate okay so that's pretty much it I know there's quite a lot of information actually but just think of those two scenarios that's why I decided to break down this video in two different scenarios so scenario number one slightly older uh, early model or damaged iPhones and scenario number two so when you have newer iPhone late models that actually are water resistant rated and you shouldn't worry so much. So think about those two scenarios, think of where your iPhone fits in and then you shouldn't have to worry too much in most cases. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please make sure to hit the like button down below and the subscribe button down below as well and the little bell icon. So, get, so you're going to get notified whenever I post a new video. And also, don't forget to hit the comment box below. I always love to see your feedback. So that's pretty much it. And I'll see you guys in a few days. Bye-bye.